Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So after India had lost the three match ODI series against Bangladesh, now it was time for the whites. So these are the two crucial test matches for India in the lead up to the World Test Championship final to be played in England next year. So yes, valuable points for India and something to play for pride for Bangladesh. So the first match was played at Chaktogram and India did not have their regular skipper Rohit Sharma so KL Rahul was leading the Indian test team. And yes, KL Rahul called it right at the toss and India decided to have a bat first. So batting first India started with KL Rahul and Shubman Gill but then the first wicket fell at just 41 runs on the board. And then in space of no time, India lost three quick wickets and they were suddenly 48 for three with KL Rahul, Shubman Gill and Virat Kohli all back to the pavilion within no time. And now Rishabh Pant joined hands with Chiteshwar Pujara and then they tried to steady the ship. Rishabh Pant, he started playing his shots from the word go itself. He scored a blistering knock of 46 runs of just 45 balls and that partnership with Pujara of 60 odd runs laid the foundation for India. And once Pant went out, then Shreya Sai came and joined hands with Chiteshwar Pujara and they both consolidated the innings playing the ball to merit and did not let Bangladesh to take another wicket. Both these batsmen scored a brilliant partnership of 149 runs and that really set the tone for a big first innings total for India. Shreya Sire went out after scoring 86 runs and then Chiteshwar Pujara grinding it out and the Bangladeshi bowlers were really frustrated with Pujara's knock but eventually he had to depart without scoring a century falling short by just 10 runs. And then the lower order came into the party, Ashwin and Kuldeep Yadav, they both stitched another brilliant partnership of 90 odd runs and yes, Ashwin brought up another test 50 scoring 58 runs and Kuldeep Yadav he was an able support to Ravi Chandran Ashwin scoring 40 odd runs and then Umesh Yadav came and hit some lusty blows and that led India to a formidable first innings total of 404 runs. In reply to India's huge total of 404 runs, the Bangladeshi openers got off to a horrid start. Mohammad Siraj removed Shanto in the very first ball himself and Bangladesh suddenly lost two wickets at just five runs on the board. Umesh Yadav taking the second wicket and then the Indian bowlers started putting on pressure on the Bangladeshi batsmen and they did not let the Bangladeshi batsmen get off to a flyer. Litton Das, he showed some glimpses of his brilliant stroke play but then the Indian spinners came to the party especially Kuldeep Yadav and they never let Bangladesh get off the boat and suddenly Bangladesh had folded for just 150 runs on the board. Thanks to Kuldeep Yadav for his third fifer in his eighth test match and it was a phenomenal bowling by the left arm Chinaman from India and Mohammad Siraj bowling his heart out. He bowled like a lion and he took three wickets and Umesh Yadav and Aksar Patel picking up one wicket. And that gave India a huge first innings lead after Bangladesh folded for just 150 runs. And now coming to the second innings, India started off with KL Rahul and Shubman Gill once again and they both stitched an opening partnership of 70 runs but then India lost his skipper KL Rahul in the run play and another disappointing score for KL Rahul as he departed for just 23 runs. 
Then it was once again Cheteshwar Pujara, the wall, the backbone for Indian batting lineup. He joined hands with Shubman Gill and they both started forming a partnership playing ball by ball. Shubman Gill made sure that this time he did not miss out on a hundred and he scored the maiden test hundred scoring 110 runs and that was phenomenal batting by Shubman Gill and Shubman Gill went out after forming a brilliant partnership with Cheteshwar Pujara scoring 113 runs together and after Shubman Gill went out it was Virat Kohli who joined hands with Pujara and they did not let India get off the car and yes these two stitched on another quick fire 70 odd run partnership and India was waiting for Cheteshwar Pujara's stun and his fastest test stun scoring 102 of just 130 deliveries and as soon as his stun was completed KL Rahul had declared the innings with India scoring 258 for the loss of two wickets setting up a target of 513 runs to be chased by Bangladesh in the fourth innings. Chasing a record-breaking 513 runs for victory by Bangladesh, they started with their openers Shanto and their debutant Zakir Hassan. And these two, I mean, they played quite brilliantly. They made Indian bowlers toil so hard that till 46 overs, Bangladesh did not lose a single wicket. And yes, the Indian bowlers started looking very but then the first breakthrough came after not before Bangladesh had stitched a brilliant opening partnership of 124 runs, Shanto scoring 67 runs, but then he lost his wicket in the run of play. Then Zakir Hassan, he continued the assault and yes, the debutant scored his maiden debut test 100 and it was a phenomenal knock by the youngster i mean what temperament he has shown in the fourth innings of bangladesh and it was an innings of patience and perseverance but then he lost his wicket as ravi chandran ashwin sent him back after he scored exactly 100 runs and then as the floodgates had opened, the Indian bowlers did not lose the opportunity to run through the Bangladeshi middle order batsmen and the Indian spinners Aksar Patel and Kuldeep Yadav. They bowled brilliantly. They were getting some uneven bounce and they were taking help of that spin as well. And yes, the Bangladeshi middle order could not hold their nerves and they kept losing wickets at regular intervals. Their skipper Shakib Al Hassan scored a counter attack innings of 84 runs, but then he did not get much support from the other batsmen, and soon it was just mere formalities for the Indian bowlers as Bangladesh had folded for 324 runs in the fourth innings. And yes, credits to the Indian bowlers, Aksar Patel picking up four wickets. Kuldeep Yadav picking up three wickets and then Umesh Yadav, Mohamed Siraj and Ravi Ashwin picking up one wicket apiece. And then with this, India took a lead of 1-0 in this two-match series by winning the first match comprehensively by 188 runs. Let's take a look at the score. And so for the player of the match, for his all-round effort, Kuldeep Yadav was declared as the player of the match. For his match figures of 8 for 113 and then some valuable contribution with the bat scoring 40 odd runs and that important partnership with Ravi Chandran Ashwin for India in the first inning. And so we have come to the end of the first test match in Chetogram and now both the teams will be travelling to Mirpur for the second and the final test match of this tour. And yes, India have to win this test match because they are in a race 
to the World Test Championship final with Australia and South Africa. And yes, Sri Lanka are also there in the race. But yes, India have now moved one step ahead and they are at the third spot, trailing behind Australia, who is at the number one spot, and then South Africa at the number two spot. I'll be bringing all the updates of the second test match, so do stay tuned to my channel and do not forget to subscribe if you are into this for the first time. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching.